All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, thought I'd just hop back in here real quick just to uh, give you guys a short little video. Um, I did modify my uh, photo. What, photo booth, I guess? That's what you would call this? Piece of plywood. <laughs> um, I made this little thing here. I screwed it on here so I could house my phone on it whenever I'm doing measurements and stuff and I need to set my phone down so I put that there um, I actually found center of the board because this board is not quite four foot so I just found center of it and pre-drilled some holes down through here so I could hang some hangers like I said I can like quickly take this this up and put it down to the next level so I'm not reaching way up this is just way up for like longer like coveralls or overalls or so of or something like that um just down through here i think i went every 10 inches down through here but i i can just hang it there or if, if like i said i stopped it about here about maybe halfway um, like I said, I can just pull that out, put my, my uh, not screw, but my nail in there and hang that there. Um, most of the time, I don't even have to use a hanger for like pants or, or whatever. Just makes it easier when it's on something so you can pull it to get the wrinkles out a lot easier. Hold on, guys. Let me get that. Um, put me another nail over here to house my ruler. Um, it works, guys. I put this over here because I'm right-handed, so I'm, I'm photoing with my right hand with my phone. And then I can just grab my ruler, set it up there, do the measurements real quick. So I did it like that. If you're left-handed, you might want to go opposite sides. Um, I'm trying something a little different. Put I have some uh, some music on that's uh, not copyrighted stuff. So thought that add a little bit to the video. But uh, yeah, guys, I got a whole bunch of clothes photographed right here and installed on my computer they're ready to be uh they're ready and what i'm doing these are stuff that hasn't been uh a listing made for yet these are stuff that already been got listings of uh, in my draft bank I like to do a draft bank and then that way I can just stay on top of listings going up every day, guys. That's what that's what I'm going to be doing from now on. Building that draft bank up, listing a few items, and then build the draft bank up more, list a few items. That way I always have something to list. Um, This is a new donation I just got, guys, from... A friend of mine um yeah guys man i strongly suggest let people know what you're doing because that can generate you free merchandise to put in your store guys so let all your friends and family know what you're doing um thank you nicole if you ever watch this video appreciate it uh but um this was a donation here. Uh, it's just some of her old kids and just some of their old stuff that they're not using anymore. So I got two pairs of docker pants here. Um, some kind of bag. I don't know what this... Yeah, bag. And then some like t-shirts. These look like her daughter's stuff yeah but it's a bunch of uh just a bunch of free stuff guys i mean stuff to you know keep your store active they say you need to uh 
have items so this is items to list on ebay so uh, i'm not gonna go through everything guys because i don't want this video so long and i got it's a whole bunch of stuff like uh pretty good stuff pajamas top uh, uh what's this like a little t-shirt a real tree um it's a lot of it's kid stuff but you know kid stuff sell as well just got the price it accordingly um little jacket another jacket a hooded jacket pretty nice uh what's this Aeropostale hoodie zip up or yeah hoodie it's missing the the string um what's this this is uh pink by i guess victoria's secret yep yep so just a bunch of uh clothes guys um like i said this is all been donated so i appreciate nicole for this a lot but yep um like i said let people know what you do for a living um they would much rather give it probably to you than the goodwills and i mean I'd offer her money, but I know she wouldn't take my money, so. <clears throat> and she said she had some more stuff for me as well. Um, she just got to go through her house again. But, uh, yeah, let people know what you're doing. Um, also, uh, I like to take, like, a bunch of photos, like, I'll do 50 photos of some items, and then what I'll do, I'll transfer my photos over to, I have a, uh, a, like down here in my, uh, my folders on my computer, I have a, I have a uh, a folder called eBay Photos, and that's just where I drag all my footage from my phone over to my eBay Photos, and then what I'll do, I'll just like, I'll open it up for you guys. So here it is, what I'll do. Once I get this, like these Levi jeans, uploaded to a listing, I can, I'll can i just highlight all this and delete it, guys. That way, you know, it, I don't have to keep scrolling back up to delete stuff and be like, oh, did I list this yet? I'll just, as I'm listing the item to my draft bank, I will delete it as well and i'll just go down through here and do every one as i get it processed um it just eliminates uh f doing photos and then listing because that can get a lot uh, time consuming so what what i'll do guys i'll just uh i'll spend a day photographing I mean, once you get in a rhythm, it doesn't take that long to photograph 50 items. So if you do that consistently every single day, you will, you will, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It, everything will just like go really smooth, guys. I mean, because you'll have... The photographs, see, I hate taking photographs. That's why I like doing this 
that way it's done and then you know i'll just have a big bulk of photos that i can just go through and just now i can uh like this list this one here i can click on this photo here guys and it'll open it up and then if my computer are hurry all right so these are 40 32s so i can look up a pair of uh Let me open this other one up. These will be 550s, 40 by 32s. I can just look that up. And uh, in my search tab over here, where it says eBay search, I'll open that up, look these up, and then I'll go from there and do my listing. But uh, yeah, guys, this is how I do it. I just created a folder like I said, and uh, once I take all my photos, I mean, you don't have to do 50 photos at the time, guys, of items. You can do 10, 12, whatever y'all feel comfortable doing, but uh, I'll just do 50 at the time. I'll get 50 items up, which I'm going to start processing. Well, actually, I might go ahead and get some drafts up now since I already got a whole bunch of photos and then I'll come back and I'll just keep uh, doing the same process over and over again uh, like I said guys I'm just starting to uh, actually do this eBay thing full time so hopefully doing this process like I'm doing will uh, reward me in the long run. But uh, yeah, guys, if y'all want to know any more details about anything, let me know down below as well. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll catch y'all guys in the next video. Peace out.